Okay, here we will talk about efficiency of different mechanical devices. Okay, so for example, generator and a turbine. Okay, well, take an example of a steam power plant. Well, the schematic is shown in the next page. Here is the schematic. Okay, well, you will see this figure again in chapter 6. Okay, in chapter 6. You can see that this turbine is actually connected to a generator. Okay, but this is not shown here. Okay. It generates an electrical energy by taking the thermal energy from a field to drive a turbine. Okay, uh, well, you have an energy source here, and then uh, after you have combusted the field inside this, the heat will be transferred to a boiler, and then it will be transferred to a flowing fluid to increase its temperature so that this flowing fluid will flow into this turbine to give a power output. Okay, the turbine then turns to drive the generator, and the electrical energy is produced. As a generator is used to convert the mechanical energy to electrical energy, the generator efficiency okay, here it will be defined as the electrical power output divided by the mechanical power input. Okay? So you need to get the idea instead of just memorizing this. Okay? You need to know what's the required input. The input should be the mechanical power input and the output should be the electrical power output. And the electrical power is our desired output because it's the purpose of this generator. Okay? Besides electric power divided by mechanical power, it can also be the electrical energy divided by mechanical energy. Just a reminder. Okay? The thermal efficiency is defined. Okay, here we have a definition that is the ratio of a net shaft work output from a turbine to the heat input to the working fluid used in a steam power plant. Okay, we can state the overall efficiency of a steam power plant in terms of other efficiencies. Okay, here you will see a sequence of processes. The efficiency of the overall process, okay, if it can be divided into a sequence of processes, then this efficiency would be the multiplication of the individual efficiencies in the individual processes. So that you will get what? You will get the Combustion efficiency times the thermal efficiency times the generator efficiency. Okay? This thermal efficiency, well, when steam flows through a turbine, it rotates the shaft. That is the thermal efficiency. And here is the generator efficiency. And multiply these three, we get the overall efficiency, which is equal to the ultimate output. The ultimate output is the net electrical power divided by the higher heating value. Okay, higher heating value times the net mass flow rate. Okay, net mass flow rate. Okay, so you can see that the efficiencies are multiplied together if they are representing a sequence of our processes. Okay, because the output for the first process will be equal to the input of the second process, so that when you multiply the two efficiencies together, then those terms will be cancelled and we get the ultimate output as well as the input. Okay. Well, there are other kinds of efficiencies mentioned in the lecture notes as well as the textbook, like the uh, lighting efficacy, solar cell efficiency, etc. But uh, they will be less likely to be seen in the problems as, uh, as they are not the main focus of our thermodynamics course. Okay. Well, uh, there are lots of different kinds of efficiency in the real life, and we cannot introduce all of them. So it is the best approach to understand the formulation of efficiency of a certain device by knowing the useful output as well as the required input. Okay? So this kind of efficiency, you should uh, have the ability to derive those efficiency by yourself by identifying the input as well as the useful output.